Hey guys, it's Lightning Slash here, and today I'm going to show you how to stratify chestnuts. Okay guys, so here are the chestnuts I have. These are Chinese-American chestnut hybrids. These have been sitting in the fridge in this baggie. They've been, moisture, they've been in moisture, so obviously they're not dried out, but I'm going to show you the proper way to stratify chestnuts. So the purpose I have for these is I'm going to plant every last one of these and hopefully sell all of them and raise a little bit of money. And not sure what I'll spend it on. Maybe, maybe, um some cages or something for the American chestnuts we're going to be planting. So what you want to do is come over here to this big dirt pile or this peat pile. You do not want like sopping wet. You want like, so it stays form, stays like form together when you squeeze it, but not like, um, obviously you don't want water squeezed out of it or you don't want it sopping wet because too wet, your nuts will, your nuts will mold. That sounds kind of funny and sorry about the traffic. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of this, put it in our, our container. This is a this is a peanut butter pretzel container. Enough to cover the bottom, we'll shake it a little bit, and we're gonna put a few down in this one layer. Just keep like putting them in there, like so. I don't know how much I'm gonna sell these for, maybe like $5 a tree when I grow them. Hopefully I can sell them. You don't want like, you don't want the nuts to touch the bottom because they would mold. May they even have trouble this way. I'm not sure. All right, there's one layer. Go in here and just cover them over. I'm not sure this may be too moist. I'm gonna poke holes in the container to make sure it's not too moist. All right, now let's get another layer of them. The goal is not to have these in here till they grow roots because that could be bad because the roots are sensitive and you don't want to break them off. I'll poke some holes in the lid, probably in the side as well. Try not to touch them too close together. Take another handful like so. And gotta, I really need to cut my fingernails after this. It, it's a very simple process as you can see. Anyone can do it. <laughs> but but we need we need more videos on this channel, so anything I can film I will. Time for the next layer. The last layer. I don't remember how many there was. There was a lot because um I calculated it out and then I was like, that's gonna be a good amount of revenue if I sell all of them. Maybe make up for all the chicken food money that's been spent over the last year. All right guys, here we are now. All in there. I'm gonna take this lid like this. Screw it on there. I'm gonna poke some holes in the lid, some holes in the side, so it'll have good good um, airage, so it can air out well. Like I said, don't get this too wet. This may be a little too wet, so I'm gonna poke holes in the container, give it some airflow. This does not have to be sopping wet. It just has to be moist. You want it to be able to stay form, but you don't want it to be able to squish water out. Now I will go ahead and stick this in the fridge and wait till about February, I believe. And these nuts should be ready to plant. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. I just want to say those nuts I had in the fridge, I already said this once, but those nuts I've had in the fridge for a while, those are the ones that we um, gave a hot water bath. If we did it right and the temperature was right, they should be perfectly fine. Um, I really don't know though. We'll find out in a few months, but yeah, I'm going to sell those ones. I don't know. I'll probably put a sign out at the, the road and just sell them probably $5 a piece. I'm not really sure what saplings sell for, but make a little bit of profit for maybe even for the meat chickens we're going to get this year. Don't really know, but it's been, it's really fun messing around with the chestnuts and we got a lot of stuff this year, like the American chestnuts along with a lot of other things we gotta do. So maybe it'll fund the chickens, maybe it'll fund the chicks for this year, or maybe it'll fund the um, some kind of protection for the American chestnuts. It's been, it's been a bumpy ride so far because I, for the last few weeks, last few months, because I haven't been making much content, I need to get back into making more content. And that's why I made a video about this, even though a lot of people already know how to do it. Gotta got up them hot watch hours. We're about 300 watch hours away. Mostly because that one video I had hit a year and then it dropped my watch hours. So, kind of sucks, but 
we're gonna work on this. We're gonna get this channel monetized. Don't know how long it'll take, but eventually we will reach the goal. And yeah, I still need a haircut. All right, guys. As always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. God bless. I'll see y'all later.